and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to organize your memories into nice manageable binders. All right, so what you're going to need for these memory binders are, well, of course, memories, but then a binder, some paper so you can label your binder, a marker, sheet protectors, and a hole punch. So I already have this binder kind of put together. So this is my just memory, random memories kind of from high school and some from college. So I'm going to label this binder just memories. Now, <clears throat> eventually I am going to <laughs> be typing this up and having like a really cute memory um, label, but right now my printer is completely out of ink, so this is what we get. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a couple more of my binders. Here is memories with my husband. Um, we've written lots of notes to each other. These are all the notes, postcards, all those kind of things, different things that we've done. Um, as you can see, like something can fit in a page protector. I'll put it in a page protector. The, I wanna show you these. These are like photo album things that I also got. So you can get a variety of page protectors, sheet protectors. Um, I like this because then I didn't have to hole punch them all. This is just really easy to go through, pull out, read them, slide them back in. I find the memory binders are a lot easier to go through and look at rather than a big box of memories and you have to shuffle through them and everything. My memory binders are letters from people that I care about and people that I want to keep their letters. So um, I just hole punch the cards just like this, slide them in there. You can see the front and back. This is how I kind of started doing it. Um, just kind of cutting, um, cutting the card and pasting it. But then there were some cards that were front and back. So then you have to like paste them weird in different ways. I definitely like just hole punching them a lot better. It takes less time. It's easier to see. In my opinion, easier to read. Of course, not all of the memories are gonna fit in like a binder format. Um, some memories are more like, larger, and those we just have in like a, a small little shoebox. Um, things that we didn't want to get hole punched, or things that kind of went together, um, we just, and they all kind of went together. I just put them all in one sheet protector, and then you can go through them when you want to. And that is our memory binders. It really did also help my husband and myself condense our memories into a binder that we were able to page through and look through. Well, I really enjoyed making these memory binders and I hope that this is something that you can implement in your home. If you wanna watch a video about how to help your husband declutter and organize, I'll link a video that we recently did down in the description and also over here. So be sure to check that out next. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.